All right, now that we're all back under one roof, we have some very important items to discuss. First on the list, who wants to go to the Laker game on Thursday? Oh. Me, definitely, yes. Okay, and with your busy schedule, too. Honey, I can't have inventory to do that night. Oh. Uh, Thursday, sure, absolutely. Okay. Maddie, could you use your fork? Mm. Number two. Paul Simon is coming to the forum, and I think I can get us great seats. Oh. Um, yeah, sure. All right, Paul Simon's an um, yeah, sure. <laughs> which I believe translates to a yes. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll call that guy. Mm, honey, could you please get that bottle of wine in the fridge for me? Sure. Dad, wait, um, I don't know. You don't want to see Paul Simon? No, I, I do. It's just, um... Well, what is it? Well... Honey, is something going on? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is, Mom. Uh... God, this is a hard thing to tell parents, especially when they're my parents. Oh, God. Honey, just say it. What's the big deal? Yeah. OK. <laughs> I met somebody in Rome. Um, he's an American. Uh, he's from L.A., actually. And um, his name's Brian McKenzie. And he's this completely wonderful, wonderful, amazing man. And. Well, we, we started seeing each other a lot, and um, we fell in love. <laughs> it actually happened. <laughs> and um, we've decided to get married, which means that what? I'm engaged. <laughs> I'm engaged. I'm getting married. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my, my. <laughs> Oh, so, oh, my. And that's your engagement ring, huh? Yes, yes. We got it at a flea market outside of Rome. The guy we bought it from said it was at least 100 years old. Wow. So, Dad, stop it. Say something. I'm sorry, what did you say? Dad, I met a man in Rome, and he's wonderful and brilliant, and we're getting married. Mom, what's he doing? George. George, what is it? <laughs> well, this is, this, <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're, you're, you're too young to get married. Too young? Dad, I'm 22. If I'm not mistaken, that's, that's a year older than Mom was when you guys got married. That is absolutely not true. Oh, no, you, <laughs> you're absolutely wrong. You were this age when I married you? No, I was younger. I was this age when she was born. That, that, that doesn't matter. Times have changed. Your mother was mature, and uh, 22 isn't what it used to matter. Could you turn on the air conditioner? It's hot in here. I thought, I thought you didn't believe in marriage. I thought it meant that a woman lost her identity. I, I thought you wanted to get a job before you settled down so you could earn money and be your own person. All right, hold on. I didn't think I believed in marriage until I met Brian. And Brian's not like any other guy I've ever known. I want to be married to him. And I'm not going to lose my identity with him because he's not some overpowering macho guy. I mean, he's like you, Dad. Except he's brilliant. He happens to love the fact that I want to be an architect. He wants me to design a house for us to live in. He said he'd move anywhere I got a job. Give me a little credit, George. I'm not going to marry some ape who wants me to wear go-go boots and an apron. I'm telling you, you'll love him. He's a genius and sweet. And I, I love him more than anything in the world. What does Brian do? Who's Brian? <sighs> I forgot his name. He's an independent communications consultant. Independent? Yes. Yeah, that's code for unemployed. Now, this is perfect. You meet an unemployed, amazingly brilliant non-ape that I'm going to have to support. I suppose I'm going to have to hire him and fire some hard-working guy with three kids because my son-in-law, the, the independent communications consultant, can't get a job anywhere else. I wonder he'll move anywhere you get a job. You're not getting married, and that's it, and that's final. And I don't like you calling me George. I mean, when did this start? Daddy, what is wrong with you?
What? You're telling me you're happy about this? George, please, will you stop acting like a lunatic father and go out and talk to her before she runs out that door, marries this kid, and we never see her again? All right. Kid, how do you know he's a kid? He could be 45 years old. 